Um, hello, welcome to an unusual review, but this is a trial run. This was planned the other day. I never, I never got around to doing it because it got too hot. Since it's slightly cooler, since it's slightly cooler, and I can have a go. But this is a trial run with a Figma figure, however you want to pronounce it. The Max Factory figures. Just move Dalek, let me just move Dalek Khan out of the way. No, let's just leave Dalek Khan there and I'll put the Supreme Dalek over there. <laughs> so I was just getting some Dark Mind, didn't finish preparing, getting some more Daleks prepared for this next part of the video. Anyway, how you pronounce it is Figma. Figma or Figma. Max Factory, Max Factory action figures. Today we're going to be looking at Corrin. The female Corrin. Unless you are Japanese, you know it's Kasumi in Japan. But for us, but for English people like us, it's actually Corrin. It's, it will be actually Corrin. Will be, it's for English and Americans, it was Corrin. You read if you're if you're wondering why you're why you're showing us an empty book, I already have this figure out and on a new stand. That'll be it for the box. See a quick look at the front, that's that's what the figure should look like. But I have another one that's like that, and that is Edelgard. That is Edelgard 461. If you want to if you want me to do a review on that Edelgard, please let me know. Because this is a this is a part of the trial run. Anyway, there's a photo of the figure on the side. And your Plurry product shots. If you want to use your Google Translation app, you can translate that. And you can translate that. This is a different pose on the other side. And the figure number is 34334. This was very expensive. The way when I bought it, it was very expensive because it came from Japan. That is it for the box. Now, here's the figure in question. Here is the figure in question. That is Corrin. I broke the pin as it arrived. Because remember I had that knockoff Lucina. Her pin broke. So her pin actually broke. So let me just move these DS games out of the way. Because they're acting as temporary stands for, for the box. Yes. This is Corrin from Fire Emblem 14. If you're a true fan, but Fire Emblem Fates. But so there's her. Right, I'm sure. Anyway, let's just see what you get. Let's see what you get in the box with the accessories. Accessory-wise, you get a set of hands. You get a set of hands. Of course, the instructions. Of course, of course, this side is Japanese. This side, English. If you're planning on getting this figure, read it from the English side. Read it from the English side. And that hand, that's just one of the hands. That's just one of the right hands. That's just popped off. That popped off the hand rack. Because there's already a set of hands on there. Um, what else do you get? You get a you get a changeable face, which I will show how you change it. You get a different facial impression. Some have two, some have three. So, including the, some you get two, including the, the, the default one. I presume that is a spare bowl joint in case one of these breaks. That's good for Figma. And her little crystal. She would say her dragon stone. And of course, some come with their own bags. And uh, I did have Lucina in here, but I put Corrin instead. That's what you get in the box. That's what you truly get in the box. That's what you get in the box. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Now 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 the figure itself. Right, the only reason I can't take it off its stand, she has she has head articulation, including the back of the hair. Certain parts of the hair will move. I did lose one bit of articulation in the cape. Due to that, I was trying to fix it onto the new stand. But there is articulation on this cape. Yes, there's artic there's different modes of articulation. The sword comes out, including the sword. 
pull that pin out out of the handle and you shove it in. She's got articulation in the legs, she's got ankle articulation. I will zoom in. I'll zoom in. There we are. She has toe articulation on her feet. Yes, yeah, she has toe articulation on her feet. And she has she has double arm she, she, you, can, you, can, you can technically Oh let me zoom out. You can technically pose her. The only reason she's got a new stand because her original peg for the femur stands were broken. Because now you, of course, you all want, you all want to see me to change the face. So you push on the face. I think you think it's supposed to push on the face like that. You've got to get a good grip. I haven't done it with. I'll say this is the first time I've done it with Corin. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, okay, you pull her hair. First, you pull her hair. I've got my gigantic hands, and you pull this out. I think then you pull the, then you pull that out. And then you put in the new face, and then you put in the new face. You put in the new face. You put in the new face for Karma. And then you put the hair back on. There it is. There it is. Now there's Corin with a different face. Let me just zoom in. There it is. There's Corin with a different face. But I prefer the default face. So, your figure. Your figure, your way. Your figure, your way. I was a little bit scared of put taking. I was a little bit scared of taking the faces off, off these figures, in case I would have in case I would have break it. There we are. There we are. There we are. There's the default face, but I prefer the default face on the figure. So let's just move this accessory bag at the back. At the back. So now, yes, as I said. Corrin appeared in Fire Emblem for four, four, I think it's 14, 14, Fake Conquest, either one you can either say this is 14A, I say this is going to be 14 because this was my first Fire Emblem game, and I'm going to say Fire Emblem 14A because this was the second game I bought, and then Revelations is Fire Emblem 14B. Fire Emblem 14B. Of course, my second game was actually Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. <laughs> and also, she appears in Fire Emblem Warriors. The female being the default and the male being unlockable. Now, comparison time. Let's compare her with the 5 inch Supreme Dalek. I can't really stand her up properly very well. I can't really stand her up. Without her stand, she's still smaller than the Supreme Dalek. Here is a standard Dalek Khan from the Genesis Arc gift set. Here's Dalek Khan. Here's Corum. Here is a classic Dalek. Here is a classic Dalek. And here's Corin on the right. Here is a Paradigm Dalek, Dalek Drone. Would have been nice if it was Dalek Supreme, but Drone was the nearest. Now, some other action figures. A Cyberman. Yes, a Cyberman with gun arm. She is, he's slightly taller. Now, now we're going into Hasbro's figures. Hasbro's figures. Now we're going into yes Hasbro. Going into Hasbro figures now. I, as I say for the Supreme Dalek, I will Dalek drone and I'll say for Dalek. I'll say for Dalek drone. I'll put an ink card. Here is Darth Vader and Corrin. Look at the size difference between Corrin and Vader. This is the first time these two figures actually met. Corrin and Vader. There we are, Corrin and Vader. Um, I want to do a very special thing at the end of the video, if you stay tuned. And it, and it will feature the droids. It will feature the droids and the Mandalorian Stormtroopers. 
if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I may do it or I might not. Depends how mood I am, and I do apologise about the noisy dog, neighbour's dog. Um, and now this is another Hasbro figure, but this is from Lightning Collection. Mighty Morphin Green, Green Ranger, he's been a bit of a celebrity on this channel lately. There's the Green Ranger, there's Corrin, there's the Green Ranger. I'll do something with the Green Ranger with Corrin. Oh god. Now, the one and only... The one and only... And can I say one thing? I want to I wanna really appreciate you actually like my General Grievous review I did yesterday. On yesterday's video, I did. I loved all the like. I love, I love all the view. I love the amount of views you have gave to it, and it's actually number one on my dashboard. When I go into my YouTube, it's actually number one. I haven't even put the figure down yet, <clears throat> but one of the figures he arrived yesterday. <gasps> He's General Grievous himself. Now let's see if I can pose it. See if I can pose it today. If I can't pose it, I'll get it on a stand. See if I can stand General Grievous. There he is. Oh wow. Oh wow. Let me see. There we are. Well, there is General Grievous. General Grievous with Corrin. <gasps> There's General Grievous and Corrin. Let me just put the figure back. I'll just put it down for a few seconds. If you want to check the in card, you can check up there if you want to see the General Grievous review. I forgot to mention in the Grievous review yesterday, he has body articulation and head articulation. I forgot to mention that in the Grievous review. And his cape was so soft. Uh, that's it. <laughs> now, for when I first got this figure, I it was let's see if she can hold her stone. I'm gonna do a trick. I'm going to see if she can hold her dragon stone. I'm gonna see if she can hold her dragon stone as well. Probably not the best. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. Anyway, as I promised, as I promised, as I promised, I'm going to put a couple of battle droids out. I'm going to put a couple of battle droids out. Um, uh, let me just cut the video and I will see you in a second. As I promised, here's, here's what I've done to the end of the video. I've got two, two Mandalorian Stormtroopers at the back. Along with Vader, of course, we've got Corrid in the middle, and then we've got General Grievous, and we've got the three stupid battle droids, which is quite funny. It's quite funny in a way, because I did say a little present to say thank you for the support on the video you done yesterday. I was going to incorporate this, but nah, I think this looks cooler. So. If you like this position, it's quite cool. It's quite cool if you ask me. <laughs> but if you like it, please uh, like, subscribe, keep up to date with new videos. I'm getting, I'm getting close to part. I'm getting close to the part I'm on Bioshock. I'm getting close now. As I say, if you want me to have a look at Adol Guard as well, I can do. So, well, I better put this video as one, and I will see you. Happy hippie folks in the next video. Ta-ta!